In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to teach you how to take an old buffet and turn it into something beautiful. We'll sand, mix our own custom color, paint this to a gorgeous blue, and finish with some Annie Sloan white wax. So are you ready? Come on, let's do this. So I recently painted an entertainment center for a family and they had this old buffet that they wanted painted as well. Originally we were going to paint the entertainment center blue because Andrea, the one who owns these beautiful pieces, had came across this photo and she absolutely fell in love with the color of this buffet. So I went researching trying to find out what color they used on this buffet and to my surprise this buffet is not even blue. They use fusion mineral paint and it's ash. And I guess the picture, it was the lighting that made it look blue. It's not blue at all. So I went to a little store called Nada and Company. It's in Royal Oak and she sells a lot of the Annie Sloan paint, which will give us that nice chalk painted look. We went through her color book and we found a combination of Annie Sloan paint that we could mix to come up with a color that looked almost identical to the one in the picture. After giving it some thought though, Andrea decided to go ahead and do the entertainment center in more neutral color and we were going to use that blue on the buffet. I started by taping off the top because Andrea wanted to keep the top natural, sort of like what it looked like with the buffet and the pitcher. I then removed all the hardware. Now it was time to sand. You want to make sure that you get all that gloss off of there so that your paint will adhere well. Because Annie Sloan paint is very expensive, I go to Home Depot and color match that and I get that in a paint and primer and that will serve as our first coat. Then the second coat will be the actual Annie Sloan paint. Okay, so we're starting with that paint and primer that I had matched at Home Depot. It appears a little darker than what the Annie Sloan paint is gonna be, but that's okay, because this is just a primer, it's our first coat, and the second coat will be the actual color that we are gonna mix from the Annie Sloan paint. You just wanna put nice, even coats going back and forth with the brush. I put a little piece of tape so we could open and close the drawers now that the hardware is off, just in case you're wondering. This is really looking nice and I love these curved drawers. It's just a really beautiful piece and it's going to look gorgeous painted. I'm getting ready to paint this side and I have the door open and it is crazy how the direct sunlight is making this look so blue. It's a darker muted blue. So I'm just going around the entire piece and I'm just painting this all blue with that primer and then once that dries we're going to go ahead and we're going to go on to the chalk paint. So I have the Annie Sloan in French linen. and I have the Annie Sloan in Oxford Navy. Now we're gonna take this measuring container I got at Ace Hardware and we're gonna pour eight ounces of paint in total. Right now I am pouring six ounces of the French linen. And we're gonna pour two ounces of the Oxford Navy.
Now you're going to want to mix that really good. And there you have it. So again, we use six ounces of French linen and two ounces of Oxford blue. Now we're ready to apply our chalk paint. I'm just going back and forth and I'm just trying to cover everything. And as you can tell, the Annie Sloan paint that we mixed is a little bit lighter than the primer we had mixed at Home Depot. Now with a chip brush, I'm taking a little of that French linen and I'm kind of just brushing it on the already wet paint. That's just kind of lightening it up a little bit and giving it a nice streaky look which kind of looks just chalky. So now I'm just painting the second drawer with that Annie Sloan paint that we mixed up. It's so weird because in this lighting it almost looks like a lavender, which it clearly is not. I definitely could see how that lighting affected the other buffet in the picture because look at this. You would think it's lavender by looking at this. Okay, so now I'm just adding on some of that French linen just to kind of lighten it up and kind of make it a little streaky. So I already painted that third drawer and now I'm taking that French linen again and I'm just kind of going over the wet paint, making it a little streaky, kind of chalky. You want to make sure you do that while the paint is still wet. I'm continuing with the chalk paint and just kind of chalking it all up. Now I'm adding in that French linen. I'm continuing to paint the side, the one that's in the direct sunlight, which makes it look almost baby blue now. Now I'm adding in the French linen. Now we're continuing to paint the other side in the chalk paint. I'm going to go ahead and do the French linen and then I'm going to let this dry. It's time for the white wax. Just 
taking some of this white wax on a clean cloth and I'm wiping it into the furniture piece. This is going to kind of give it like a faded denim kind of look. After we got done, Andrea really did not like the natural top, so I ended up painting it for her. This is the actual color of the buffet, and if you look at the photo that we tried to color match, I think it's pretty close. When we open the door and get a lot of natural sunlight though, this turns this really pretty blue. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. If you remember when we started, some of the hardware was missing. Andrea wants to change the hardware, and I know that whatever she chooses is going to look amazing on this. And thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.